Did you see the latest inflation numbers? They were like something that you would have never expected, especially for people that are living paycheck to paycheck. The news was not what the federal government was expecting, folks. They were expecting that inflation was going to be tamed. It does not look good for the future. An inflation number of 3% after one year? How is this possible? Maybe, maybe consumers are buying more than what they can afford. Maybe consumers are borrowing money and they're spending on goods and services that they cannot afford. And therefore, guess what's happening? The other thing that's probably happening is that manufacturers are just raising the prices. They're trying to get as much money out of you sooner rather than later. That's what they're doing. They're producing products and they're raising the price. They want to see, hey, how much money can I get out of you, John? How much money can I get out of you, Mark or Sally or Susan? Will you continue to borrow money to buy what you want today? versus saving your money and spending on those things that you need. Housing is a need. A new pair of shoes? Maybe. But do you really need to go out to the restaurant? Look at the restaurants on the weekends, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They are packed, folks. The restaurants are packed full of people. Where are y'all getting the money from? That's what I would like to know. Someone tell me. Actually, how much do you spend? What is the appropriate amount of money to spend when you go out for dinner with your family? And should you go out once a week? What's reasonable? Type it in the chat box if it's reasonable to spend $180 every week taking your family out to eat one day a week. Is that reasonable? I remember back in the day after church, we would go to the buffet, right? $10 buffet, maybe spend $30, $40. But nowadays, the price for a steak, the price for a chicken sandwich is just unbelievable. Take a look at Chick-fil-A. Have you seen what Chick-fil-A said? They're going to provide chicken that's some fancy word that you can barely understand. They're changing the type of chicken that they're going to feed you. Why? Is it so that they can make more money? So they want to serve you less quality chicken so that they can make more money. We, we Folks, this inflation number is getting out of control. In order for the interest rate for the car, right? You're trying to buy a new car. They charge you 8% interest. And the interest rates aren't going down because they see that you got money in your pocket. Therefore, the Federal Reserve, they're not going to reduce the interest rate until they see that you have no money, that you're not going to borrow money on things that you cannot afford. But if you keep spending money and borrowing money and buying things that you can't afford, then manufacturers are continuing to produce. They're making profits and they continue to increase the cost of goods and services so that the executives can make more money can have a bonus check so that they can increase the stock. Why? Why should they stop raising the prices if you're going to still pay no matter what? It's a race. It's a competition. They're trying to get the dollar out your pocket. Everybody is competing. Think about it. The moment you wake up in the morning time, you put your shoes on, you jump in the car, you are bombarded with commercials. Everybody is advertising at you. Because they're trying to get that five dollars out your pocket, the hundred dollars out your pocket. Even when you come, when you turn your phone on nowadays, they say, "Oh, you can just what DoorDash or Uber Foods, whatever you call it, Uber Eats." And guess what? You can buy now, pay later. What? What? You can buy your food today and pay for it later. I've never heard of such. But this is how desperate. These companies are to get the money out your pocket. We need to take a step back and be patient. You get paid at the end of the month. Take your money, 
buy all you need your car insurance life insurance if you don't have life insurance make sure you get it so you can take care of your family so you don't have a gofundme fine because you're too busy doing doordash and uber if you do doordash and uber buying the food buying pizza and etc you can afford to buy life insurance folks you can afford to buy it's cheaper than what you think investing in yourself right so in order to stop this high gouging of prices you have to just start saving your money and investing if you have a hundred dollars right and you put it under the mattress and you waited until today to pull the hundred dollars out it's not a hundred dollars because inflation was three percent your hundred dollars is only worth ninety seven dollars because prices went up by three percent so a hundred dollars to track three percent three dollars your money is worth ninety seven dollars Stop borrowing money, trying to get things that are wants, folks. If you learned something today, hit the like button and subscribe. Share with a friend. Talk to you next time.